All right, so we have an aimbot. We have our wall hack slash ESP. Let's combine these two to make a better sheet overall. But before we do that, I want to tell you guys about my latest version of the CSGO multi-sheet. It includes everything we've worked on, like ESP, aimbot, snap lines and more. It's now available for members over at the Buy Me A Coffee page. That's right, for only $5 a month, you get to access the whole project to clone and modify. By becoming a member, you also get a special membership in the Discord server, which automatically gives you more value in my point of view. The mission of this video will be taking our aimbot to the next level by aiming at the closest enemy relative to our crosshair, also adding our circle of death where the aimbot only aims if they are inside it. Alright, so here we are, CSGO, a pop game. This is just a screenshot, but it works to explain things. We have some enemies which we want to aim on, and we want to aim the one that's closest to our crosser. For that, we will divide our screen into four parts or divided by two so we get this point if we divide the screen width with by two and the screen height we get this point which is 960 by 540 the point in the middle this coordinate here we have an enemy he is at the location to 1250 and 560. If we wanted to calculate the distance between our crosshair and this enemy, we would create a triangle with the coordinate. So here we have the coordinates of the enemy, we have the coordinates of our crosshair. Now we do some quick math. We get the delta x which is 1250 minus 960 which is 290 delta y is 560 minus 540 if we take the hypotenuse of that we will get the distance between that point and our crosshair so we can get the distance between our or the player and our crosshair just by from 8th grade north below that uh, 7th grade map now we will do this for each enemy in the game so we will take this uh, let me get a pen take this guy we will take uh, let's choose something to see so we will take all of these enemies oh that's the ugly arrow but we will take all of these enemies we will also take the 2D coordinates, so we store all of the 2D coordinates and then we sort them by which one was the closest. So, Alright, so we will start off by creating a new method to return a float value, which is the distance between the enemy and our crosshair. crosshair. We know all of this because I explained it in a simple way. So we'll just get right into coding the method. It will return as a float. We'll call the method dist short for distance. This distance it will take in an entity from our entity class. So here is where we store the player location, we store the 2D points. Uh, all of this is similar if you have watched the previous tutorial, so go do that if this is complicated. Now, in this entity, we'll call him end. Here, we get the point in the middle, the crosshair point, which was uh, x is for cross. Yeah, the x crosshair, but to get 
the point in the middle, we divided the screen by two. So since our panel is the screen we're using to draw things on, we'll use the panel one here, but you can use the screen if you're uh, using a different programming language, perhaps using some different methods, but we divide the screen by two. We divide the height by two and that should be x y for crosshair y and to finalize the method we return a float value which uses the math dot square root because we wanted to get the hypotenuse of uh, our delta x and delta y so to do that we use the math.pow method inside the math.square root we pass in our xx for the width we do minus our uh, x or our entity x coordinate on the screen and to the power of 2 so this will get either a positive number or a negative number but it will still be the distance so we just get the absolute number when we uh, do it power to the power of two since if you have two minus numbers and uh, multiply them by each other the negative um, disappears if you take minus one times minus one you get one same thing here so we get or we use the math.power again for our y coordinate now so we get the width or the point in the middle y coordinate and now we do minus our entities y to the coordinate so here we have delta x here we have delta y now we have our distance which we return so when we have our distance method we can pass it through or when we update our entities so here we have our update entities method I have modified it a bit but it's still the same so in the end of the uh, update entities method I have now added the x dist for crosshair distance and we use distance and then our current enemy ant so if we take a look at the entity.cs we have a crosshair distance which I added this is just a float which we store the distance <laughs> all right <laughs> We store the distance and we add them to the list and so on. Now we can order the entities by the distance or the crosshair distance which we stored. So now we just reorder our entities list. This is the main function. And then we aim at these enemies so we aim at the enemy which is closest to the crosshair using this method since we have the crosshair distance here we sort them out and everything like that so this is how we can get the closest enemy to the crosshair if we wanted to create a circle on the screen which I showed or you, you got a sneak peek of it in the start of the video, but if we wanted to have that in our program, which the enemies or the aimbot only activates if you're inside that circle, that's very easy. Since we have a point in the screen, we can just set a radius, since you know cer a circle, it has a radius, radius times two is the diameter I hope I don't butcher the name. Uh, I went to school in Sweden. But we have the radius of the circle. 
we can just set it to whatever we want. So, for example, if we wanted the circle to have a radius of, radius of 50 pixels, then if an enemy had the x distance, the crosshair distance, which was in the entity uh, class, if they have below that, we just aim at them. So, it creates a circle. We don't have to do anything more than that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have a pixel distance. This is the... If they go inside this radius in the middle, they get aimed at. So, let's take a look at the draw function and see how we can draw this circle in the middle because we haven't drawn anything we have a circle which uh, if if the enemy walks into it they get aimed at but we also need to draw this on our screen so we have somehow of knowing that they are there oh yeah i forgot so here is the i've just changed the aim method to have this if statement which if the crosshair distance is below or equal the pixel distance we aim at them so that's the check if uh, they are inside our circle in the middle so uh, where is the draw function hold on that oh well all right something happened my computer is just really slow, I suppose. There we go, double click. And now, to draw the circle, we use the G for the graphics, the panel's graphics. We draw an ellipse, because we don't have our G.draw circle, we draw an ellipse. And I've used, this is just uh, a grey pattern, no, it's... Uh, I don't know if it's a great gray or white pen, but we use this pen, we draw from, so you have the, we have the X and Y, the 2D coordinate, and we have the width and the height of this ellipse. So we take the width divided by 2 to get the middle point, and because the ellipse starts um, maybe I can show it in game let me just look in OBS here. yeah there we go much cleaner now if we start my bad if we start a program All right, now everyone is red for some reason, but doesn't matter. We have this circle in the middle, which I showed you. Let's close that down. We used with draw lips, but if we don't um, do minus 50, which is the width of the ellipse. No, 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 no. It's half of the width of the circle. Let's call it circle for easier stakes. But if we remove this and remove this, you will see this is just using the middle of the screen and drawing a circle that has the width 100 and height 100. You will see that it starts drawing at the top left corner. So we just do minus 50 to move the circle to the left and minus 36 this is for 100 pixels so you will have to find a prop poor push i'm having a i will edit that out probably all right but we have to offset the circle by half of the width of the circle 50 and 36, so 36 of the percent it will be lower 
So we do minus that instead. And the circle is on the crosshair. That's just an annoying part, but that's how you fix the circle not being in place since we're using a panel and not directly on the application itself. So I hoped this video helped if you wanted to further improve your aimbot and well, ESP so on so you can get this uh, memberships are available at buymeacoffee.com whatever the link was uh, we'll paste it in the description but you can get this whole project in a git package or whatever dot git so you can clone it you can download it you can run it you can modify it remember to use dash insecure it's not intended for public use or use against someone else it's used with dash insecure so vac is disabled and you shouldn't destroy the fun for others with that said thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next tutorial